Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a spacey doc object manually. The doc object is a container for linguistic annotations which we typically create by passing some text to a natural language processing pipeline. The first step in processing the text would be to tokenize the text into analytical units in need of further description. In this case, however, we already have the tokens available because we've extracted them from a corpus. We've collected this information into three lists named words, spaces and sent underscore starts, which give the words, spacing information and sentence boundaries. To create a spacey doc object using this information, we first need to import the doc class and we also import the spacey library and create a small language model for English, which we store under the variable NLP. If we take a quick look at the data that we've collected into the lists by printing out items in each of the lists, we see how we have the words in the list words followed by true or false values, which tell whether the word is followed by a space and whether the word starts a new sentence. In this case, for example, we can see that the word how is followed by a space and it also starts a new sentence. Whereas the word skydiving, for example, is not followed by a space because the next token is a comma and it doesn't start a new sentence either. To create a new doc object, we simply call the doc class and provide several arguments. To begin with, the argument vocab takes a vocabulary object, which is always available under the attribute vocab of a language object. This associates the doc that's being created with a specific language. We then provide the lists, words, spaces and sent underscore starts to the arguments of the same name and assign the resulting doc object under the variable doc. This gives us a spacey doc object with predefined tokens and sentence boundaries. If we fetch the first 15 tokens in this doc, we see that the words and the spacing information have been correctly added to the doc. So for example, there is no space following the token skydiving. The predefined sentence boundaries in turn are used to define the sentences which can be accessed using the sense attribute of a doc object. And if we print out the first five sentences, we see that their boundaries follow those defined in the list sent underscore starts. For the most part, however, our doc object remains without annotations because we haven't really done any natural language processing at this stage. For example, if we fetch the fine-grained part of speech tag for the first token in the doc object, which is available under the attribute tag underscore, we see that this gives back an empty string. In other words, we have no information on part of speech tags. We cannot pass the doc object to a spacey language model for annotation, like we usually do with Python string or list objects, but we can loop over the components of the natural language processing pipeline under NLP and apply them individually to the doc object. In this cell, we loop over the pipeline attribute of a language object, which gives us two items during each loop. The first item is the name of the component, whereas the second item is the component itself. So what we do here is we print out the name of the component being applied to the doc object, and then we feed the doc object stored under the variable doc to the component and update the variable by storing it again under the variable doc. If we now re-examine the fine-grained part of speech tag for the first token in the doc object, we see that the tag underscore attribute has been populated with this information. We also have access to additional linguistic annotations produced by these components, such as the noun phrases 
available under the attribute noun underscore chunk. The manually defined sentence boundaries, however, remain the same, although Spacey normally uses the syntactic dependencies to determine the sentence boundaries. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.